Well, guys, it seems that the shit has gone down in Russia and they have just been hit by a meteorite. In fact, it exploded in the air and bits of it have gone flying. Uh, one bit hit a building and it was a factory for zinc. There have been buildings that were shaken with windows broken. Apparently, there could be some uh, children from some school that could have injuries. Um, as of yet, there are no reports of fatalities. Uh, here's some footage to give you a bit of an idea. I mean, that is pretty full on. And some of this footage, you can see that this is quite intense. And there's obviously some electrical reaction happening here as these objects are coming in through the atmosphere. You can see that also. So I started on YouTube back in 2011 because of Comet Elenin, and I've been researching into the area of space weather for a very long time, and now everything that I have been researching is starting to play out. And uh, even if you look at the work of Susan Joy Renison, um, you know, we are in a part of the cosmos where we are experiencing more incoming objects. We have been experiencing more of them for a long time. This is a lot of uh, what they've been censoring because they've known this is coming. So this is going to be very interesting to see how this plays out in the psyche of the herd because this is something that's pretty undeniable. And uh, this is something that is also out of the control of the power elite as well. So this is going to reflect on the human psyche and this is going to reflect on everything and how it all plays out with us as well. So that will be very interesting. Now, the other thing that I wanted to also remind everybody about is that we have uh, this asteroid, 2012 DA14, and uh, that is due to pass by in, I think, about 18 hours or so. Now, once again, uh, we're probably not hearing all of the information and they are keeping information from us because I find it interesting that they really didn't make a big deal about this asteroid that obviously had travellers with it, but they made a big deal about Apophis at the beginning of the year. And this is what I actually said, if you'll go back and listen to that video, is that I thought that's probably what they were doing because I couldn't work out why they were making Apophis so doomy gloomy and went out of their way to actually name it something that was fearful and that's because they wanted to distract us and make us look at that instead of worry about asteroid 2012 DA14 which was actually closer than Apophis and uh, obviously has bits and pieces coming with it that are hitting parts of our planet and it seems that Russia is in the path of these incoming objects because Russia seems to uh, have them uh, on other occasions as well. Now. I will link this video underneath uh, this one because there are lots of different uh, incidents that have been filmed about the electrical interaction that these objects are having as they're coming into the atmosphere. Now before I play this and show you this uh, electrical interaction that I'm talking about, it's interesting to note the date. And you'll probably also um, note that uh, there has been some interesting uh, patterns that fall around March, you know, one being that there's this alternate source of energy that's coming into our planet that seems to be around the end of February and uh, March. And then we also have that huge earthquake in 2011, a few days after this incoming fireball. So it's all related, guys. You know, same with Elenin. Elenin was related to the tsunami, uh, you know, in Japan as well. There was an alignment that happened there. And there were alignments after that that happened and played out. So um, there is definitely an interaction. It's electrical between these incoming objects and also um, our planet and our atmosphere. And we can see this, you know, as I said, with this footage. So Russia seems to be in some type of path. And uh, these incoming objects were also seen in Melbourne. So I don't want to freak anybody out, but um, if this is some type of path that they're on, you know, I don't want to withhold information because people are fearful. Because, uh, you know, people need to be prepared that we may see more of this stuff, you know. There may be more travellers with this asteroid. 
because uh, there are travellers with ice on and NASA has not come forward and let that information out that you can quite clearly see on footage that has been filmed of Iceland that there are travellers. So um, it seems that it's all about to play out, guys. Now, there's also a report from RT and they're just reporting on some of the incoming information because it's shaken up a lot of people. So anyway, guys, stay safe. Uh, don't fall into the fear. Things are playing out. We knew this was going to happen. And this is what we've been preparing for. So, you know, all of that information that we have been uh, basically processing is, you know, going to put us in a place where we can, you know, react in a way that we should. So, and that's not going into the fear. You know, you are where you are because you're meant to be. So just know that, uh, you know, if you haven't stocked up on some water, you know, probably now, and I'm not trying to freak anyone out, you know, don't go running out right now, but, you know, seriously start thinking about, you know, just maybe getting a few more supplies now. You know, because if you do see a few more of these events, you just don't know how that may panic the herd. You just don't know how these people are going to react. They've been so asleep that they're about to be woken up. And I just want to also remind everyone that this is another web bot hit. And I have also been, you know, saying that I think we should be paying attention because web bot seems to be getting a lot more hits lately. You know, a lot more things seem to be um, hitting with this web bot. And not only that, it was that Dorna guy that the drones we're going to, um, you know, drop bombs on and, and fire upon and they ended up, you know, all this weirdness is happening. Well, that was in the web bot as well, that the media were going to fuck up and they weren't going to be able to follow what was happening properly because they've been working with these assholes and uh, they fucked up and they did. And now there's all this, uh, you know, shit flying backwards and forwards with these different reports. So I think this is all playing out. This is going to wake people up. And, uh, you know, fingers crossed, I said that it was going to take something that they can't deny. And shit fallen from the heavens is something they're not going to be able to deny. All right, guys. Well, everything will be linked. So, uh, you know, stay safe and take care. And uh, as always, peace out.